Hello friends, today I will discuss the Hammurd's galvanometer experiment and the important Bible questions on it. What is Hammurd's galvanometer? Hammurd's galvanometer is an instrument which can be used to measure the DC current in the circuit by measuring the magnetic deflections and it is improved form of tangent galvanometer and it works on the tangent law and it have two coils of radius r and uh, their separation is also r equal to the radius of the coil so this kind of arrangement is known as hammurd's galvanometer the objectives of this experiment are we have to plot a graph between distance and tan theta and from this graph we have to find out the radius of coil r also we have to calculate the reduction factor k and the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field h and the experimental setup is like this we have the hammurd's coil and the bench and first we have to put this whole setup in magnetic meridian or this setup should be in east to west direction and then we switch on the current i and uh, so that the current flows in the coils and we get some magnetic field and initially we set uh, the deflection in this needle around 45 degree initially and then using this commutator we can change the direction of current and we can take different observations and this small this black pointer shows the north direction so to take the observation the number of uh, turns in coil it is fixed capital n and the current in ampere it was we have initially give, uh, given some current i and so that initially we uh, put the deflection at 45 degree at x equal to 0 at the center of the coil and then we have to move the compass box towards east arm and west arm and we take readings of, of this magnetic deflections in theta 1 and theta 2 in direct current direction and using the commutator the direct when the direction is reversed we will take the reading theta 3 and theta 4 and then after that we can take the mean values by adding these four values divided by four we will get 10 theta value and then 10 theta same procedure we will follow in the west arm also and if we plot this on x-axis the distance x west, uh, west end and for the east side also so we will have uh, this kind of curve 10 theta is maximum value uh, at around the center and then uh, it starts to decrease with distance in both sides and we can also find out the radius of the coil uh, which was one of the objective from this graph and then we can find out the uh, reduction factor k because we know already know the i and we take the mean value of tan theta then we can find out the reduction factor and also the horizontal component can be calculated using uh, these all parameters are known because k we have calculated pi is constant n number of turns known r is radius of the coil so this uh, from here we also have found the horizontal component of magnetic field of earth and standard value of this component is um, around 0.35 gauss and gauss and or state these are the small units of magnetic field and tesla is a big unit and the relation is one gauss equal to 10 to the power minus 4 tesla now we will discuss important viber questions first question is what is hammurd's galvanometer so hammurd's galvanometer is an instrument which can be used to measure the dc current in the circuit and it is improved version of tangent galvanometer and on what principle 
Hamoor's galvanometer works. It is based on tangent law. If we have two mutually perpendicular magnetic field F and H, then F is equal to H tan theta, where theta is the angle that needle makes with the horizontal component of the earth. Now next question is, what is tangent law? If we pass the current through the coil, we will have some magnetic field uh, B or F and the another magnetic field is the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field that is BH or H. So due to these two fields, the magnetic needle will be deflected through an angle theta and according to tangent law, this tan theta equal to B by BH or F by H. So finally we will have B equal to BH tan theta or F equal to uh, H tan theta. So this is the tangent law. So next question is, what are advantage of Hamoor's galvanometer over tangent galvanometer? Tangent galvanometer have uniform magnetic field only at the center. It have only one coil in tangent galvanometer only one coil is there. So it have the constant magnetic field only at the center of the coil. Whereas in case of the Hamoor's galvanometer, we have two coils. So the constant magnetic field is up to the large distance. And uh, also Hamoor's galvanometer is more sensitive and accurate as compared to tangent galvanometer and it produces more deflection and field. So this is, these are the graph of magnetic field versus distance from coil. This is for Hamoor's galvanometer and this is for tangent galvanometer. And how the fields vary along the axis of circular coil. So for a circular coil, if we want to find out the magnetic field at a distance x, then we can have this relation f equal to 2 pi n number of turns i is the current r is the radius of coil so we will have 2 pi n i r square divided by 10 times r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 this is the magnetic field at a distance x and what is the magnitude of this field at the center because at the center this x will be 0 so we will get uh, if we put x equal to 0 then we will have f equal to 2 pi n i by 10 r Next question is what is magnetic meridian? We can see in this figure that geometrical north pole and geometrical south pole is different than magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole because magnetic lines of forces they are little bit have different poles as compared to geometrical north pole or south pole. So the straight line which joins the magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole it is known as the magnetic axis and magnetic meridian is a vertical plane passing through this axis it is known as the magnetic meridian why it is necessary to set the plane of coil in the magnetic meridian to make the magnetic field uh, produced by the coil at 90 degree to the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field uh, that is the necessary condition to apply the tangent law. That's why we have to put the setup in magnetic meridian. Next question is, how is the error in measurement of deflection eliminated if the coil is not exactly placed in the magnetic meridian? So by passing current in one direction and then in reverse direction using the commutator, if we take the mean of all the four readings, then we will get the average deflection, which is free from the errors. And uh, in that case, we have uh, removed the errors which was made during the setting the magnetic meridian. So why the mirror is provided at the base of the compass box? If you see the compass box in your experiment, then you will see that there is a mirror uh, at the base and we can see the images of the needle and it is 
for measuring the correct deflection because it removes the parallax between the pointer and image so if you uh, parallax means uh, it is the apparent displacement of the object due to the change of the position of the observer or if you see uh, this uh, the reading from some angle this pointer and image will be at different position so there will be error so you will have to see from the top so that this pointer and image should be at the same reading next question is what is reduction factor k the reduction factor k is related with i whether this relation i equal to k tan theta or k equal to i by tan theta if we put tan theta equal to 45 then k equal to i so in definition we can say the reduction factor k will be equal to the current i passing through the tangent galvanometer to produce a deflection of 45 degrees and also we can find out use, using this formula k equal to 2 r into h divided by mu naught into n where r is the radius of coil h is horizontal component of earth's magnetic field n number of turns in coil mu naught is the permeability of free space that is 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and also this reduction factor depends on the geometry of its coil because k depends on r and n that's why it is a geometrical factor also what is the nature of material of uh, the circular coil the coil is made of insulated copper wires on a circular frame uh, which is non magnetic material what is use of commutator in your experiment this was the commutator commutator is a device to reverse the direction of current in an electrical circuit why we take the angle 45 degree initially because the tangent galvanometer is most sensitive at a deflection of 45 degree what is point of inflection if you plot the distance x versus tan theta graph then at some point the slope start to change here this point uh, near to a and b these points are known as the inflection point and the distance between these two points uh, is equal to the radius of the coil so from this graph also we can find out the radius of coil what are the applications of hammond's galvanometer hammond's coils are also used in scientific apparatus to cancel the external magnetic fields such as earth's magnetic field because earth have a small magnetic field always and to produce a region of nearly uniform magnetic field we can use this hammond's coils thanks for watching this video and if you are new then please subscribe this channel and share it with other students also or in other groups your queries and suggestions are welcome in our last video we have discussed the viber questions based on the carry foster bridge and in our next video we will discuss the viber questions on cathode ray oscilloscope or cro so thanks again see you soon